hello welcome back to another new tutorial so today we're doing a video on how we can add current date and time into a file name using Autrix. so i'm going to demonstrate that let's say you want to add your date and time over your file in Autrix. so i'm going to show you how you can go about that so the first thing is let's bring in our inputs tool of which we can bring in our data let's click ok So we can run it and see what the data looks like. Yeah, this is what the data looks like. So now I have this data and what I want to do is, let's say I want to incrementally add current data and time whenever I run this file. So I can do that by using formula tool in Autrix. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So the first thing is we're going to define a file name. So inside this file name, we'll specify the date time and the name of the file. So let's say I want this file name to be file outputs. So just wrap it in quotes. Then the next thing now is I'm going to use the dates field. Sorry, the date method. So date time now. Date time now. But what else I'm going to do is I want this uh, to be in my specified format. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to wrap the data in format around it. So let's do that first before I specify it. Data in format. So how I want the date to look like. Okay. So just bring this down. So we wrap the data in format on it. Now let's specify the format we want. Now we're going to make it in a string. So we're going to use, um, we want it to come out as a string. So it's a string. Yes, we've done that. So um, we can see we use the file name we want. So I think let's put an underscore here so I can see the preview. So it looks more better. So we have the name, then we have the date format we want, which is in dates and the time. So now again, we need to specify the sheets or let's say the file extension with the sheets along. So we can do that by concatenating then you wrap it in quotes. This is very important. Now let's see this preview. This is how we're going to have it when we run the workflow. So let's run the workflow. Click on the output. Yes, yeah, so we have it here. What we're going to do is we're going to pass out the file name information into the output tool. So let's drag in the output tool. Now we're going to set up a connection of which we're going to specify the name of the file we want to write out. So I'll use the same name which I specified in my formula too. So just click OK. And OK. So now the next thing is we're going to move down. So click on take file name from field. After I've done that, you go to the uh, to this particular place, then you select change entire file parts. Okay. So after you've done that, you go down again. Then you click on the file name which you just created now. So this file name we created with the formula tool, we're going to select it. 
and again under this key field in outputs you will select what is there so let's run it So our file name has actually been written. This is the output results. Selling up like it is written into a hub data. So you can see the location where the file was written to. So to prevent this from happening, this is what you're going to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy um, from these parts where exactly like the location where you want that file to be saved in. So it's just like what we have over this write to file. So you ensure you click on that location, then uh, behind this quote, you're going to paste it. Exactly. So you're going to paste it. So definitely this file is going to be written inside this folder, this data folder on my desktop computer. So let's run it again. So now we can see this is where the file is. So let's select, let's click it. So this is the file and let's check it in the folder. Yeah, so this is the file in the folder. We can see it has the name, then the time. Um, and I believe if you want to do this like um, dynamically, you can do that also. So I feel this is a very good approach whereby if you click on the file, you can see all your data and everything is there. So as long as you keep running the file, it keeps um, adding this same file into that folder. But what you need to do again is you can see under this file output. So because we just created um, uh, what I selected is create new sheet. So let's say you want to append to existing sheets or you want to override so you can ensure you click any of the ones that you want. So just look for the one that suits with you appropriately. So this is the end of this video. I hope this tutorial was very helpful in showing you how you can dynamically write out your file name with the current date and time. So please, if you're just coming to this channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can keep watching more videos on all tricks. Thanks for watching. I would love to see you next time.